So in this video, we're going to be talking and working with our DTF Pro L1800, which is our modified L1800 printer, together with our roller and our infrared sensors, as well as a little pad for applying uh, our resin powder, a heating element and our press. The first thing that we need to do with our roller is make sure that our film is placed going over and not under. Our film will first go over into our infrared sensor tray and then it'll come out like this over into the printer and then will be printed outwards. In order to feed paper on our roller, we need to push the forward button. This will feed. We can now take our film and we can put it into our printer. Before we start printing, we need to set our switch to automatic, which is to the right. That means that when the printer is busy taking film in order to print and it runs out of film, the automatic sensor switch will be engaged. Set your roller to forward motion now. When we start printing, it'll start printing and it'll take out the film. The sensor realizes that there's no film and it starts feeding. When the sensor is blocked, the tray automatic, the roller automatically stops feeding film. Before we can feed film by a roller into our printer, we first need to use a sheet of white paper in order to feed first. And then we're going to use our tool in order to lift the rollers up and we'll feed it manually. So the first thing that we need to do is go to roll print by DTG pro and open the program. Then we go to job print. And when we're ready, we're going to select feed paper. Feed paper, when pushed once, twice, or three times, is going to feed a white sheet into the printer. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click feed paper. The white paper is loaded and is fed through the printer. Now we have to take our film and feed it over the white paper. In order to release the feed rollers, we take our tool and we insert it into the printer. We make sure that the red lines, the red dots align themselves and we press down. By pressing down, we release the rollers and now we can feed both the paper and the film through. Once we've fed it, we can release. We also need to remove the paper. You can leave it inside. It doesn't make a difference, but it's a good idea to remove it. So we're going to go ahead and grab the paper with our fingers and we're going to pull it through. With the paper removed, we can take our film and we can pull it just enough. And then we can go ahead and we can disengage our release tool and we're all set. Now that we have inserted our film, we can start to print. As you can see, I have approximately two, three inches of film, of good film. So in order to save on this, again, I can push my film down. I'm going to lose this the first time, but it's just for the first time. I want to make sure that my film has passed this corner selection here and is already on my vacuum. At this stage, I can turn my vacuum on. My vacuum is going to work at a power of 7.81. So between, between seven and nine is a good uh, voltage for uh, film. Anything um, thicker than film would require a thicker voltage in order to suck down. We disengage, moving to the right. We don't have any use for this tool right now, so we can remove it. And now we're good to send a print job. Okay, so now we're going to be using our RIP software. In this case, we're going to be using Acro 9. We need to first go File, Open, and select the uh, file that you want. In this case, Jurassic Park. We can choose the number of times we want the image to be multiplied on the same row by going to Layout and then going to X, Repeat, X, 
by three times, Y two times, and we can put the spacing that we want in between our X axis and spacing in between our Y axis. We have mirror, which is also selected. And then we go to color. I'm gonna use a predefined setting, which is DTF Pro. In this setting, I have selected white 32 and color 32. My white is a gradient white under any colored pixel. My printer, I'm using a file L1800 because I want to print a PRN file. I'm going to use my printer set to L800. Color dot size and white dot size, I'm using medium large. When I'm ready to print, I select printer, print. I want to print both white and color. Select all four, print, yes. And this will generate a PRN file. Once the PRN file has been generated, then I'm going to be using a roll print pro by DTG pro. And this is going to start printing by roll print. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have our PRN, which has been finished. We now go and open up our roll print pro new job, add file, select the file and open. We can choose how many times we want this also printed by selecting copies and changing one to two, three, four, ten, etc. That will just mean that the printer will carry on printing as many copies as you want. We can also add a previous file already created and it'll print it as soon as it finishes the first. Once we're ready to print, we print, we push start and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and let's start printing. The printer automatically starts printing. A good thing to notice is WIMS, W-I-M-S, White Ink Management System. On this printer, we have one already installed. As you can see right now, we're busy printing and my switch is already set to tank mode. Tank mode means that while the printer is printing, WIMS, W-I-M-S, White Ink Management System, is being activated. Every time a switch, this one here, every time this switch is being pressed, the actual white ink is being circulated so that it never goes dry and so that it never goes thick as well. We can also manually uh, use our WIMS by selecting, by moving it to tube and pushing a manual button as well. We can also put it onto a timer if we set it to automatic and on tube. So when we go home, weekend printers not in use by use of a timer an electronic or digital timer the WIMS the white ink management system will continue to work and the white ink will never go thick after successfully printing I've taken the scissors and I've cut my film and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply powder we can now heat our DTF sheet on a heater element mine is set to 130 degrees Celsius which we can leave for approximately 15 to 20 seconds, a little bit more, no harm done. We just want to get all the uh, resin heated up and put onto the film. And here you have it, our full film. All the resin has been perfectly adhered to at the back. Now you can apply it to a garment or you can store for future use. So in this video, we're going to be printing to 100% polyester. We're going to use the same images that we uh, just printed, the DTF Pro logo and two other pictures. We're waiting for our heat press uh, to reach the correct temperature, which in this case is going to be 180 degrees Celsius. And we're going to press it for 15 seconds. Now that we've reached our desired temperature, in this case, 180 degrees Celsius. We're gonna go ahead and press this for 15 seconds. And now we're gonna let this cold dry, cold peel, and then remove. Now that we have a cold peel, meaning that the garment has uh, cooling down to a temperature that we can now peel, we can go ahead and take the corner and peel. Corner, peel corner, peel, and this is a quality. 